Hey guys, this is Xenomex. Welcome to today's video. Um, me and Obeda here, we're just using the computer, and he found out that for some reason my computer is now only detecting 4 gigs of RAM. Now, if you've seen the Xenobuild series, you would know that I installed 6 gigabytes of RAM, and I remember for a good period of time seeing 6 gigabytes when going to start, and I right click my computer to go on properties. Now, I say I'm on the system here, and it says and it shows only. 4 gigabytes of installed memory RAM. So we tried to go in the device manager, okay, manager, and we saw we tried to refresh, see if it wants to detect new things. It couldn't detect anything new. So I guess the only thing we're going to try and do now is open up the computer, pull the RAM out, and put it all back in, and just in hope that this will work. Okay, so I've put the uh, tower. I've obviously removed all the cables. And I put it on the laminated floor just so we can be earthed. I'm not wearing an anti-static wristband and uh, let's just hope for the best. All we're going to do is we're going to remove the RAM and then put the RAM in different slots. So we're just going to take the screws off, put them in a safe place, and now we're just going to pull this. And as you can see, if you've already seen in the video, <clears throat> the actual fan is connected obviously to the power here. So we're going to have to take this off, now we're going to put this somewhere, like here. So now if we take a look in uh, at the RAM and where it's situated, you can see here that you've got 2 gig, 2 gig, 2 gig. Now one of these is not being recognised, it's a quite worrying issue, I just hope it's going to be simply a matter of uh, kind of removing it and putting it back. I'm just going to undo these white levers, all of them, do it from the other side as well. Okay, so I'm going to remember that this RAM was on the right, so I'm, I'm going to see if I'm going to put this on the left. I don't know, I mean, just maybe it'll make a difference. You know, it's the kind of same principle when you have batteries. Sometimes your remote won't work, and you have two AA batteries, and we just swap them around and it starts working again. So I'm just going to try that out. I don't know if it's, it'll work or not, but it's worth a try. So I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to leave the middle one here. I'm putting them in places so I can remember where they were. And I'm going to put this piece of RAM here as well. Okay, so now I'm going to put the RAM that was on the far left to the far right corner. I remember reading the instructions manual and it said to put them in the blue slots. So I'm going to put this here, make sure it's tight, and as you can see it's automatically put itself in. I'm going to put the this one in the middle. No, actually not in the middle, the one that was in the middle, I'm going to put it on the far left. Push it in and it clicks. Do this. Push it in and it clicks. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to close the case now and just hope it'll work. Luckily we've opened it up again and I can see 6 gigabytes detected. So um, let's take a closer look to the screen. You can see here now it says total 6 gigs. 6135 megabytes is what it detected. And just to check we're going to go to start, right click my computer. Go to properties, and as you can see, it says here installed memory RAM 6 gigabytes on 64 bit operating system. So, thankfully, you've witnessed success in um, kind of troubleshooting uh, an issue. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check more videos, reviews, guides, tutorials, and unboxings on Xenomic Tutorials channel. To the far right corner. And I believe that they were in the, um... <laughs> what, what's that something? <laughs> <laughs>